Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Happy Saturday. May the Lord bless you here today. Somebody go ahead and begin to share this message. Welcome. Welcome to Breakfast with Jesus. May the Lord bless you. Go ahead and share as you join. Like, comment, share. May the Lord bless you here today. Hallelujah. Come on in. Come on in. Welcome. Come on in. Come on in. As you join, go ahead and share. Come on in. Invite your friends. Invite those who you love. Come on in. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes. Hallelujah. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. Allow the Lord to use you. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. It is well with my soul. Hallelujah. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. Good morning and welcome. Happy Saturday. People of God, I encourage you to be in the spirit. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you that are here for the first time. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Mm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. People of God, I encourage you to be in the spirit. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Good morning. Welcome to El Shaddai Prayer Tower. 
My name is Reverend Dr. Joyce Lynn Rattigan. For those of you who are joining for the first time, may the Lord bless you here today. You will never leave the way you came. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. It is imperative that those of you that are here open him out and pray. It is, imp it is very, very important that those of you who are here pray. Pray. Don't be a spectator here today. Be a partaker of what the Lord is doing among us. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let us pray. The Bible make it clear that when the enemy come up against us as a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise up a standard to block that flood. Many times we are sleeping and that's when the Spirit of death will show up when we are unconscious and it's because of our prayer life and the people that are praying for us that is what's keeping us alive. It is because of our prayer life. There, there are people that are praying for you that you don't know about. There are people constantly on their knees crying out to God for you and your children. I came to tell somebody here this hour, it is time to pray. The reason why we are still alive because people are praying for us. And I'm using the word us, including myself. If many of you could see what's going on in the realms of the spirit, you would pray. Hallelujah. So I encourage you to pray. Let us come in agreement this morning, Sister Jackie. Sister Lorraine, my God, let us come in agreement. Sister Michelle, let us be in agreement. Sister Valdin, it is time for us to pray. Sister Kayan, let us be in agreement. Sister Sherry's, whatever you are doing, I encourage you. Let us focus this morning and pray. Sister Beverly, Sister Steele, I'm encouraging you to join us in prayer and let us pray. Hallelujah. There's a need to pray today. Wilfred, Sister Kadian, don't relax here today. Sister Janet, don't relax. We're going to pray. We're going to pray. My God, we're going to pray. And we're going to talk to God. Whatever the situation is, we're going to leave it at the cross. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Father, we say thank you, Lord, for what you're getting ready to do. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Spirit, we welcome you. You are the head of our life. And because you are the head of our life, Jesus left you in charge to guide us when we call you. Lord, we say thank you for the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we welcome you now. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, we call you now. We welcome your presence among us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We are here in agreement this morning. Holy Spirit, we say thank you for showing up. Right. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. 
for sending the Holy Spirit, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, for sending the Holy Spirit. My God. Lord, we say thank you. We bless you. We honor you. Lord, we adore you. We shall back you this morning. We lift up a shakanaya glory this morning. We baptize the atmosphere with the blood of Jesus Christ. Lord, we say thank you for what you are doing. Thank you for revelation. My God, we say thank you. Thank you, oh God, for the things that we don't know about that you show us. Oh God, we say thank you for exposing our enemies. Lord, we say thank you, Jesus. For Holy Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody go ahead and declare. Thank you, Jesus, for sending the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for making a way where there seemed to be no way. Daddy, we say thank you. Thank you, Lord. It is well with our soul. Lord, we say thank you for destroying the works of the enemy concerning our lives. Our children, our home, our marriage, our ministry, our business. Those that are praying against us, mighty God. Thank you for exposing them. Those that are secretly fighting us, fighting our children. Lord, we say thank you for exposing them. Today we destroy every hand. That was raised up against us. That was stretched forth against us. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. My God, my God, my God, my God. Oh, thank you Jesus this morning as I pull out this sword. Let your will be done. As I raise up this sword in upright position this morning. We decree and we declare that there will be a performance today. Those who have been fighting us secretly, there will be a performance today. Those who try to touch us secretly, there will be a performance today. Those who are coming up against us secretly, oh God, as I raise up this sword, there will be a performance today. Today, Lord God, we ask you to wipe them out clean. Those who try to touch our finances. Those who try to touch our ministry. Those who try to touch us. Touch our marriage. Touch our children. Lord God, today, we decree and we declare that they will be wiped out clean. Leaving no remnants. Those who are fighting against us. There will never be any remnant. Oh God, we decree and we declare this word. To manifest in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, we say thank you for victory. We say thank you, Jesus, for victory. We decree and we declare it done. It is finished. My God, from the ends of the earth, we cry out to you today, Abba Father. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every hidden thing will be exposed. Every secret thing will be exposed. Those who are working against us secretly. They will be exposed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Those who are coming up against us. Come against the adversary right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. 
as I raise this sword, I'm standing on your behalf. I'm standing on my children's behalf. I'm standing on behalf of your marriage, your ministry, your finances, your health. Jesus, I stand here and I declare war in the spirit. War in the spirit. We decree and we declare war. Heaven will hear us. We decree and we declare today, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as we begin to declare war in the spirit, those who are fighting mighty God, they will fall. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Those who are coming up against your people. Hallelujah. Jesus. My God. Bless our home today, Lord God. Let your will be done. I cover every soul that is here this hour. I cover those that will see this broadcast that when we share it, there will be peace in their home. I send the peace of God to their homes today. I cover myself even now in the blood. I soak myself in the blood of Jesus Christ. And I said, thank you, Daddy. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good morning. Hallelujah, people of God. It is time for war. It is time for war. There is also a scripture in the Bible that tells us that the enemy tried to use David's children to fight against him. And David went to the Lord in prayer and asked God, should I go up against them? And God said yes. David was not going up against his own children. He was going up against the work of the enemy concerning his children. Hallelujah. Sister Sophia Anderson, don't get too comfortable. Sister Sophia Anderson, I came to tell you, the Lord wants you to know, don't get too comfortable. And I'm not going to say anything else on social media. Don't get too comfortable. The Bible said, for we wrestle not with flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, against rulers of darkness, against spiritual wickedness in high places. David came up against wickedness in high places. He didn't want to fight with his son. But he had to because of the spirit that the boy had. There are some among us that have the spirit of Absalom. There are some among us that have the spirit of Jezebel. There are some among us that have the spirit of Judas. Judas was this close to Jesus Christ. Eating and drinking with him. But I came this hour with one word. According to 1 Peter chapter 3. Jesus. The Bible declared it said. And who is he that will harm you. If you be follower of that which is good. 
This is why the word of God encourages us to follow what is good. So when your enemy come up against your sister Baldine, they are going to crumble. No one can fight God and win. The Lord gave me a revelation last night. I couldn't come on the live. I was invited somewhere. And when I got there, there were lights everywhere. And when I look, there was an altar. It's like a stump. Like a tree root, they cut the tree trunk and use it to build an altar. And on the altar, there was a glass of water. You know, something like this, a glass of water. And uh, next to it was a candle. And the candle was burning. And next to the candle and the glass of water was my picture. <laughs> ah, the devil is in trouble. You see, God revealed to redeem. So, next to the candle, a glass of water. Next to the glass of water was a picture of my face. I wasn't sleeping. I wasn't in my bed. I was standing by my bedside. And when I went to bed, I had a dream that was not good. And I got up early this morning. And the Lord took me back to the vision. And he said that was a spirit of witchcraft. We have to pray. You see, this ministry is causing a stir in many people's homes. They cannot stand El Shaddai because of what God is doing here. God revealed to redeem. So I laugh. I said, thank you, Jesus. So I begin to make some declarations. Any place that they have my picture, the hand the very hand that placed the picture there, I'm setting it on fire. I'm setting the person on fire. I am setting that home on fire. I am setting the family on fire, leaving no remnant. You see, we pray every time and we ask God to reveal to us. But I have never seen anything so clear. When people begin to fight you, it is a blessing. Once God revealed it to you, the Lord revealed to redeem. So today I send the fire, the same fire that Elijah used to destroy 50 men, 150 men. I send it today to destroy the whole family, leaving no remnants. When I say no remnants, I send the fire of God. Somebody, I came to let you know. I pray here all the time to break down any altar that they place your picture, that they place your name. But when the Lord revealed it to me, I said, thank you, Jesus. So this gave me prayer point. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. According to 1 Peter chapter 3, according to the word of God, he said, who is he that will harm you if you be follower of that which is good? Today, we assign angel of destruction to destroy them. Today, we assign the angel of death to visit and tear them up. When Elisha, when Elisha got mad, children were mocking him because he had no hair. And he was so angry. 
lions came from in the wilderness and eat them alive. I don't know who God sent me here to encourage, but I hear the Lord said, fear not. Fear not. When you begin to grow and excel and do good, your enemies will rise against you. You will even have enemies that you didn't know about. So today, 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 I assign the angel of death to visit them. The Bible declared that we have angels at our disposal. He gave them charge. So you have to assign angels to do what you cannot do physically. Many things we can do physically, but because we are children of God, we ask the angel of the Lord to do it. Even if it's a relative, even if it's a blood relative, any place that they gather, there will be death among them. I speak without apologies. I say this here all the time. If I am preaching and you got convicted and it make you mad, take it up with the Lord. If I ruffle your feathers on the street, then I'll apologize. But when I'm in the spirit, it's a whole different level. We assign angel of death to visit them and wipe them out clean. The Bible said God is a consuming fire. So the same fire that Elijah sent from heaven to destroy those men that believed in witchcraft. Mm. Hey! And I'm serious as the day I pick up the mantle. The Bible told me, my Bible told me, it said, who can touch you? This is why God have prophets. This is why he gave us discernment. This is why he gave us discernment so we can discern. You see, the devil has a lot of free time on his hands. I, 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 I don't know what God is doing in this season. And I don't care to know what God is doing in this season. But I am a part of it. And there's an old song that reminds us. It says, I'm so glad that I am a part of the family of God. Washed in his fountain. Cleansed by his blood. So I'm here to let you know, fear not. Hallelujah. Fear not. Bible declare. It said the eyes of the Lord watch over those who do right. And his ears are open to their prayers. Is he, listen to me people of God. I don't care if whoever is behind that scam is related to me this is why i use the word david went to the lord and said lord do i go up against my own and god say yes sometimes you have to go up against some people that are related to you because of the spirit that they have without fear Those who allow the devil to use them. I came to tell somebody. It's time to open your mouth and begin to pray. This is not about me. It's not about me anymore. 
Because if you are a part of this ministry, you should know by now how to pray and do warfare. Somebody open your mouth and declare, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we destroy every satanic prophetic word that came. And we destroy every satanic word mighty God that is trying to manifest it will never come to fruition it will never come to pass it will never come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ those who are coming up against us those who are fighting my God they will fall in the name of Jesus somebody open them out and pray whatever the enemy did whatever the enemy is trying to do it didn't work and this is why the Lord revealed it it can't work. It cannot work. It cannot work. He di bika sata da baku shada baya. He will never work. He la bara nurokosa. He will never nakasa. It will never manifest. It will never come to fruition. I see somebody getting mad. And they are throwing stuff in a fire. Even money. They are throwing in the fire. But I came to tell you. According to Elijah. He said if I be a man of God. Let fire come down from heaven now. And destroy them. Hallelujah. You see. I didn't want to go live today. It was my plan to call a few people from the platform and do a group prayer. And the Lord said, no. No. We have to disgrace our enemies publicly because God is a God of order. He said, no, don't you try to touch my anointed and do my prophets no harm. I came to tell somebody, those who are trying to be me, those who are trying to be me, may the Lord have mercy upon them. Jesus. I begin to laugh. People of God, this sound crazy. But I begin to laugh. I said, God, what are you showing me? People have got to say, this is why we have to live clean. You know that they will come up against me because of the prayers that we are here praying. People will come up against me because I'm praying for, fighting for you. I am in the way. Many of you should have been dead already. But because of the prayers that we are praying. So now I became a subject. We call upon Jesus right now. To destroy every evil work. Even if it's a thought. The Lord show it to me. And if you should see that altar. They invited me. And they, the devil is a liar. It was a piece of stump. And they placed a candle burning. They placed. A, 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 the candle was in a glass. And a glass of water. A half a glass of water. And uh, a picture. And when I look. It was my picture leaning next to the candle. And I said. What is my picture doing here? And I hear the Lord begin to minister to me. He said, you are fighting for my people. And they are mad at you. So I laugh. People of God. We know a God who never fail. And when someone is doing something like that. Build an altar and place your picture there. They are burning. They, they are burning with hate. Hatred. It's, it's eating them up on the inside. Whatever we are doing here, it's causing problems in other people's lives. But I came to let you know, people of God, they will never win. They have lost again. Because I came to let you know, the Lord revealed to redeem. We destroy every evil altar that was erected on our behalf. We destroy every altar. We set the fire of God to it. And we burn it. 
we burn those who stood there. I came to tell somebody when they set the fire and throw those Hebrew boys, the king requested that the fire be turned up times seven. I'm talking to somebody here. The flames were times seven, but I came to let you know when he heard that men were walking in the fire he went to check for himself he said wait a minute there is a fourth man in the fire mighty god he has visited i feel the presence of the holy spirit he said there is a fourth man in the fire people of god don't be afraid don't be afraid don't be afraid i feel the presence of god because there was a fourth man in the fire with the hebrew boys mighty god i came to let you know that fourth man was daddy jesus so even when they raise up an altar against you even when they set fire it will never burn he said when you go through the fire even when you go through the fire you don't have to worry because nothing will happen to your hair nothing will happen to your clothes you will never smell like smoke i don't know who god sent me to talk to you today but i want you to know you might be going through the flood i want you to know it will never drown you the water will never come consume you mighty god i came to let you know open your mouth and begin to pray god is saying here fear not fear not many times we heard about sudden death murder somebody committed murder and and there was an accident and there were some deaths you don't know you don't know you don't know what's going on i spent seven years in school bible school and many days i was hungry i've been sitting here preaching many times i was hungry couldn't pay my bills because all the money i have to pay for school i never asked anyone for anything during my school years god provided Many times I'm fasting two months, three months of fasting. So I'm here to let someone know today. Tell the devil. Tell those who you think that are coming up against us. Let them know. They stop at the wrong address. If you suspect someone text them and said please god reveal it to pastor you need to stop because you might die send and tell a message to someone if you suspect them if there is someone that you suspect let them know god reveal the thing to pastor and we are gonna get into prayer you might die or somebody from your household might die be careful be warned wrong address tell somebody wrong address my god told me he said when we go through the fire when shadrach and meshach and abednego came out of the fire they didn't smell like they were in fire their robe the bible said their robe was still fresh nothing smell like smoke not even a strand of hair was singed on your head when you continue to do good for the lord it doesn't matter who the devil is a liar this is why i laughed yes i'm not afraid so i woke up this morning early i prayed and I woke up my husband and I was telling him. And he started to pray. I said, I'm not afraid. I like these things. I remember when I was working in New York with this lady. And she said, I love drama. I love excitement. I like to be now. I didn't, un I said, you are old and you are mixed up. She said, I'm not mixed up. But I like this. I li yes, I like these kind of actions. No, I understand. No, I understand. 
You see, let me share something with you, people of God. If you're not going to fight war, don't pick up your sword. And when you gave your life to the Lord, and you pick up the Bible, you pick up the cross, you pick up other people's burden. Many people want to preach in church. Many people want to want to evangelize. You want to do this. Remember, you have to carry other people's burden. And by carrying other people's burden, be prepared to be attacked. Whenever you begin to pray for someone, let, let me turn it around. Let me flip the table. Whenever someone is praying for you and your family, expect them to tell you that they have been attacked. Many of you here, when I finish praying for you, I don't sleep. Because of the demons that you are fighting. Yes. So I want you to know. Many Whenever I release a word here, it's time to pray. Why? You might not be in the situation, but you have to come up against some situations. Many times I pray for you people and I don't get to sleep at night. Because the demons come after me. Many times I want to come out here to pray. And I don't have the strength to pray because I've been fighting the spirits that you are fighting. Many of us don't understand the job when someone pray for you. They are helping you. They are standing in proxy with you to carry your burden. To fight the, the curses, the generational curses, the demons. But I came this hour to let you know. This is a new year. The Lord told me, and I already shared this information, that things are going to be different on this platform. So when he gave me that revelation, it was like someone presenting something to me on the phone it was so real I said what is my picture doing on an altar who in the world would make such a mistake I said fire my God Jesus Somebody just said Facebook blocked them for some comments. So I'm here to let you know, people of God. The devil is angry. And the Lord did not reveal to me who I prayed for, but I suspect. I suspect who I prayed for to, to, to drive that situation that far. Who did the Lord use me to pray for? And it's not even important anymore. Because God revealed it. So I came to let you know. When you come here. Don't be a spectator. Somebody said. Yes they did it to me last week. Yeah. La last. Today is Saturday. Earlier this week. I came here one night. And I preached. And I was prophesying over some people's lives. <clears throat> that night I didn't sleep. <laughs> People of God, you need to understand. Many of you, you don't sleep at night. And when you come to a platform and someone pray for you, that person pull everything from you. So this is why many of you are able to sleep. Because we are interceding on your behalf. I know. But God revealed the thing to me and it make me angry in the spirit. I laugh, physically laugh, because to me it is a joke. But in the realms of the spirit, what I see, we, we make prep, yes, we make intercessions for people and the demons that are fighting them. It's some form of backlash. They build altar. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We send the angel of death. People of God, you better be praying. This is a new year. Because if you don't pray, they'll come after you. They will come after you. 
It is true. They will come after you. So you have to pray. You better be praying. You better be serious when you come here. Wherever you see somebody fighting war fear, they have to testify. The devil will not fight you unless there is something great at stake. The devil is not trying to kill you. The plan of the enemy is to prevent your breakthrough from coming to pass. And if you are weak, you will die. The Bible said his plan is to rob, to kill, to destroy. So he will kill others to prevent you from excelling. So I came to let you know, people of God. This is why I never put a price on this platform, on this anointing that God gave me. I cannot, I cannot put a price on the anointing that is here. So when I'm here to pray for you, I don't pray for you because you, 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 you send your offering or your, your tithes or your sow seed. I don't pray for you in regards to money. I can't. Because if it was money, then I wouldn't pray for anybody. If I was going to pray because of money, I, no one would be able to pay me to pray for them. So I can't. I have to just pray and do and love what I do for the Lord. I don't do it for money. No. I cannot. So when you hear someone name is being mentioned and I'm praying, it's not because they so many of them have never stretched a dime to this ministry. I'm telling you. Cuz I don't charge. Upon all God is doing here, I cannot charge. So people of God, when you come here and it's time to pray, I encourage you to open your mouth and pray. Don't watch who is saying what. It's time for you to pray. You are not here by chance. Oh Jesus, I came to talk to somebody. They put them Hebrew boys in the fire. They made up their mind that they will not surrender. They will not bow down to any false god. They will not worship any false altar. And today we burn down every evil altar that was erected concerning us and our family. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is because of the prayers. The devil is mad. And I just want you to know, when that fire, when that fire was turned up seven times hotter, do you think Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, do you think they felt it? No. They were in the fire praying. When Paul and Silas was in prison, they beat them. They, they, they rip off their clothes. They got sores and scars. And chains, do you think they were concerned about what happened to them? They were worshipping God. They know who they serve. We serve a prayer answering God. Whatever problem you have, turn to Jesus Christ. I came to tell somebody. Whatever you're going through, turn to Jesus Christ. When I look, I see that little dirty altar. It was not clean. Mighty God, there was nothing, there was no Bible, there was nothing about it that was of God. It was a dirty altar, so I said, fire to it. Put my picture where and live no. I'm here to share something. If you know or if you knew someone who had a bad temper, and then that person begin to live their life to please God. Did you know that all that energy and that bad temper, it has been transformed? So now they'll be angry in the spirit. <laughs> hey, <coughs> excuse me. If you had a bad temper when you were in sin and you came to Christ, <coughs> Excuse me, and you're living your life to please God. You will be radical in the spirit, but that same amount of energy it takes you to get mad, 
you will have that same amount of energy to do the work of God. I say this all the time. When I was in sin, I was no joke. Friends and relatives and family members didn't like me. I don't know why. And now looking back, I really don't care. Because I was sold out for the devil. So now that I'm in Christ, I'm sold out for Jesus. And this is what makes me and give me this zeal that I have for the Lord. I had a, you see, when you're living for Satan, you have a zeal for him. When you're living for the Lord, you're supposed to have that zeal for the Lord. The energy that you are pushing, the fire that you carry. He said, wow, that one is tough. This is why God said to Moses, Caleb of a different spirit is from a different breed. And that was before Caleb got old. When Caleb got old, he went to Joshua. He said, Joshua, I don't want you to come up here acting as if you forgot that I was the one that was with you when we spy out that land. And God promised me my portion. I take what's mine. I'm ready for that and my children. People of God, sometimes you have to step to the plate and declare and demand whatever belongs to you and your family. Don't be too comfortable. You got to be radical. You have to intensify your prayers. You have to be serious. You have to be serious. It's time for many of you to stop being so comfortable and come out of the flesh when you come up here with the flesh and ask for prayer and we begin to pray for you. You're not believing and the demons that were fighting you begin to attack us. So we have to use wisdom. We have to use wisdom. We have to use wisdom. So I came to let somebody know. Every evil altar that was erected concerning our life. We set fire to it. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We burned down every evil altar. Jesus. We destroy every evil altar that was erected. Many of you, the reason why you can't go forward in life is because an altar was, was raised up concerning you and your family and your marriage and your ministry. But I came to let you know, we set fire to every evil altar. Many of you, they place your whole family on altars so you cannot grow. Your house is stagnant. Your life is stagnant. There's nothing good happening. Your marriage is dead. My God, but I came to tell somebody here today, I speak life over you. Many of you, your marriage is dead. You're married and you're not married. You're just living. You're just existing. Nothing happening. But today we make declaration that there will be a performance. When we're done here today, I pray that you receive that phone call. Mighty God. It doesn't matter what kind of news it is because of the prayer. So open your mouth and pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Anything that concerns my life in the month of January. I call it out. I call it out. Open your mouth and call it out. Anything that concerns you in the month of January we call it out my god hey kadabako sataya call it out and bring it forth some people are not gonna come on the live today they're watching but they're hiding they're afraid of this type of prayers so I encourage you to share it share it with them so they won't miss it in the net, listen to me, people of God. There was a time when people would have known better were gambling in the tabernacle, money changing, selling stuff, money exchanging, running business in the tabernacle. 
They didn't preach. They didn't teach the word of God. They were empty. So Jesus, Jesus was walking and said, Oh God, come out of here, you hypocrites. You turn in the house of God into a den of thieves. They were criminals. So today we pray for the story to change. Many times you see and you hear some news about some people who call themselves Christians and something bad happened to them. You want to know why? Because of these prayers. Yes. Oh, they didn't make it. There was an accident. It's because of these prayers. Many of them need to... Did God charge Elijah when the first 50 men died? No. Did God charge Elijah when the next 50 died? No. So we have to use the fire of God. We're not doing it physical. We are sending the fire of God to destroy their evil works. And we are asking God to allow us to hear the news. Many times we don't hear. Because God hide it. You know, yesterday I was out on the street with my husband. And it's funny because... I had something to do and he was with me and while I was conducting business with these people somebody was in the building swearing and going off so when we left he said why do they do that and I said do what and he said didn't you hear them cursing I said look God blocked that from my ears he didn't want me to hear that there are some things that God will have to block us. It's a distraction. So if I heard what he heard, I wouldn't be able to finish doing what I went there to do. I came to talk to somebody here today. There are many things that many of us are hearing. We are not supposed to hear it. It does not belong to us. It does not concern us. So open them out and pray in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Whatever does not concern you, oh God, block it now. Ask God to block it. Whatever does not concern you, we ask God to block it. Somebody go ahead and begin to share this message. We ask God to block it. Whatever does not concern us in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We don't want to hear it. Whatever concerns us. He said he will per perfect anything that concerns us. He will make it good. He will make it right. As according to the word. Philippians. Um, 1 Peter chapter 3. Hallelujah. Thank you Holy Spirit. In 1 Peter chapter 3. It remind us. It said. For the eyes of the Lord are all over the righteous. And his ears are open to their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them that do evil. God is not in agreement with them that do evil. So this is why we have authority to destroy them. God is not in agreement with evil works. So this is why we are children of God here to pray against them and their works. God will allow the devil to touch many of them in a wicked way. Not to test them, to take them out. To wipe them out clean. Do you realize what's happening in the Caribbean, in Jamaica right now? A lot of people are dying. Not all of them are innocent. Let me share something with the people of God. Not all of them are innocent. So we have to pray for the godly ones, the innocent ones. For their family. No one is not going to get up and hurt you for no reason. When the enemy, good morning bishop, welcome. When the enemy came up against us as a flood, God raised up standards, so God killed many people that will come after his people. God allowed, listen to me, there was a time when God allowed stones to fall from heaven to destroy men and women in war. 
So God will destroy some people for us. He said it in the book of Isaiah. I gave up men for your sake. What do you think that means? He destroyed them just for you. He said I gave them up. Live your life to please God. Do what's right. God bless you Bishop. Do what's right. No weapon that is formed. Even if they even think about it. Even if it's a thought. We nullify it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. People of God. When you know you have the devil fighting you. And you come here. Pray. Don't come here and fold your arms. And be a spectator. Be a partaker of what God is doing. Many of you don't sleep at night. And you ask for prayer. And out of compassion, we pray for you. And when we pray for you, you know what happened? Those things that are fighting you, they come. But we are here. We are here. And in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, according to the word of God, the Bible make it clear that the angel raised up the sword against the wicked. The angel of the Lord showed up with the sword against the man of God who was trying to hurt God's people. Who were about to disgrace God's people. So I'm putting it in upright position. And this is why we hear some news sometimes. Some family member will pass from sudden death. Because they were weak. Their relative did things that were wrong. Prayers was raised up. Intercessions were made. And they died. So God is not afraid. To allow people to die. When they are in the wrong. And their remnants. Even the dog in their yard. Will die. Have you ever seen a dog. Just spin three times and die. Many times he took the death. From that person. The owner. The dog owner. Because the spirit of the dog was weak. So instead of the owner died. The dead angel of death came and destroyed that dog. So today we raise this sword in upright position. With no apologies. I stand with you in prayer. I stand with you in prayer. The angel did not use the sword. To hurt Balaam. No. The angel held the sword. And the donkey saw the sword. And when the donkey saw the sword. The donkey got crazy. And began to speak. Because he began to act funny. And the master began to beat the donkey. I came to let somebody know here today. There is power. In the name of Jesus Christ. There is a miracle. Mighty God. The devil don't want you to experience it. So he's trying to stop us. That can never happen. Nah. Nah it won't happen. God will never allow it. We decree and we declare it done. There will be a performance. We will hear the news. Somebody go ahead and share the broadcast. Because when you share it. They will tell you. Oh me. I'm not going there. They will be afraid. My God. Thank you Holy Spirit. You see, this is why we have to live clean. So when God shows up and bring the revelation, we are able to see. I pray that the Lord open your ear gates and your eye gates so you won't miss anything. I pray that the Lord open your ear gates and your eye gates. So you won't miss what's yours. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Let me tell you something. You sit up over there and pray those pretty prayers. And see how far it's going to get you. Sit up over there and pray those pretty prayers. And see how far it's going to take you. The devil don't like you. What did the word of God said? 
His job is to rob, to kill, and to destroy. So don't be playing those games with Satan. We cannot negotiate. We are going straight to the point. I refuse to negotiate with Satan. The reason why many of you are alive here today is because other pastors and bishops are praying over you. Other prophets, apostles, they are praying for you and your family. Because you are playing games with Satan. Thank God for the spirit of discernment. My God. The devil have lost another battle. The devil have lost another battle. I came to let you know, people of God, this is 2022. This is 2022. We're not going back to last year. We're not going to pray those prayers. We're going forward. I refuse to negotiate with Satan. Declare it. I'm not going to bargain with the devil. I'm not going to question the devil. I'm just going to speak it. Just like Elijah. Declare it and so shall it be. Declare it and so shall it be. Many of you need to start praying serious prayers. It's the prayers according to the word of God. It said the prayers of the righteous avail it much. When Peter was in prison, he didn't pray. The Bible said intercessions were made by the saints. And the angel of the Lord went and snatched him out of prison. So today those of you that are here in spiritual prison, I snatch you out. Because you refuse to pray. Many of you said, oh, I can't pray. Saskia, I see you holding your head. Jesus. Saskia, I see you holding your head. But I came to let you know, according to the word of God, I summon angels, healing angels right now. To touch you. I summon healing angels right now to touch you. And I decree and I declare it done. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is done. Amen. You need to make time and come to church. And stop playing. I know you need that little money. But God will provide. It is the plan of the enemy to block your prayer life. It is the, yeah, I see you. I see you in the realms of the spirit. For the last couple of days I've been praying for you. But I want you to know it is well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. People of God, listen. There is nothing that you're dealing with that God cannot fix. There is nothing too hard for the Lord. Daniel was placed in the lion's den. It was not intended for him to come out alive. It was intended for the, the lion to eat Daniel for dinner. But what God did, the Holy Spirit shut up the jawbone of the lion Sister Denise Lindsay, I pray today, and Sister Hyacinth, that the Spirit of the Lord shut up the mouth of your enemies. She's coming. I pray that the Spirit of the Lord shut up the mouth of your enemies. Shut up the jawbone of your enemies. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. <laughs> the Shawnee. Shawnee Dixon. The Holy Spirit said I should ask you. 
what are you looking for? And the reason is, is because it doesn't matter where you go, there is still an emptiness inside of you. To Shawnee, there is an emptiness inside of you. It doesn't matter who minister to you. Something is lacking from your life. The Spirit of the Lord is telling me to ask you what do you need from the Lord. It doesn't matter where you go. It doesn't matter who minister to you. There is something, but I pray today for that fire to be stirred up in you. To Shawnee Dixon, I pray today for the fire of God to be stirred up in you. So you can worship him wholeheartedly. My God. I pray for the spirit of the Lord. To be stirred up. For your spirit. Paul said to Timothy. Timothy I long to see you. To lay hands of, on you. To stir up that spirit that's in you. That is my prayer. Yes, the Lord said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what nationality. There is still an emptiness. It means that deliverance needs to take place. The Spirit of the Lord is saying that deliverance needs to take place. You need your deliverance. There are some things, fruits, that is in you. You need to give birth to it. Lord Jesus. The spirit is saying that you need to give birth. You have fruits. But your spirit man need to be stirred up. You need to be able to concentrate when you are in church. You cannot. You need to be able to focus when you are in church. Oh Jesus. What is this? Mighty God, the Holy Spirit is saying that even when you are in church, you are distracted. I pray that the Lord take care of this matter in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray for the Lord to settle this matter. I pray for this matter to be settled. This matter of uneasiness. I pray, I cover you right now in the blood of Jesus Christ. And I pray that you find peace. Jesus. Jesus. My God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Yes, yes to Shawnee. This is what God is telling me about you. There is something in you and it, you need to birth it out. There are some fruits that you got to birth out fruits. Jesus. I hear the Lord said you need to start practice evangelism. You need to start practicing. You need to minister to people. You need to bring them with you to church. You need to work for the Lord. And if you don't work for the Lord, you're going to have a hard time. There are fruits in you that you need to give birth to. You need to give birth to get rid of this uneasiness, this emptiness, this unbalance. Glory to God. According to the word of God. It is the peace of the Lord that passeth all understanding that will guard your heart and your mind. Philippians chapter 4. Mighty God. You need to give birth. Enough is it? No, you, you have been. Mm, Jesus. Whatever is holding you back, I release you right now. He katarabakosaya. I release you. You will never walk in anyone's footsteps. The Lord is about to break you out. But you have to go into fasting and prayer wholeheartedly. My God, without distraction, it's not going to be easy. But I'm praying for you to give birth. I'm praying for you to belt out those fruits. My God. You say, yes, you agree. 
I know it's true. The Lord is the Lord has been speaking to me. I've been praying for you, but I cannot open my mouth until the Lord said speak. So I've been praying for you secretly. You're a good person. And you have been in ministry for too long. It's time. I hear the Lord said it's time. My God. Too much distraction is happening around you. It's time. It is your time. It is your time. It's time. It's time to set things right. It's time to set things in order. It's time to do things God's way. Hey! Jesus. Hey, City. Mighty God. May the Lord help you. Hey, Arababa Kosata. May the Lord visit you in a dream and tell you what you need to hear. Hallelujah. Jesus. Stay, Makate de Bekosaya. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Jesus. May the Lord do you good. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord change your story. May he open those closed doors. Your doors have been closed for years. Oh, Jesus. But may the Lord expose the culprit behind your downfall. May the Lord May the Lord ex ex expose that culprit. For years. Tishani. Any place that they place your picture. Your name. And your clothes. I set it on fire. With the fire of God. Any altar that they place you on. I burn it down. Every evil altar. I burn it down right now. That they place you on. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Every evil altar. That they be kuramba dada kashato. In the name of Jesus. I hear the Lord said I should pray for you. I hear the Lord said I should pray for you. I cover you in the blood. There are many people that prayed for you. Many. But there are some spiritual things that need to be broken. You need to be in the spirit when you are in church. You need to be connected to the altar in the name of Jesus. You need to be connected for your deliverance. You cannot give birth unless you receive your deliverance. Jesus. Hallelujah. May the Lord do it in this season. Mighty God. Don't be afraid. Don't quench the Holy Spirit. This is what the Lord is showing me. Don't quench the Holy Spirit. Don't grieve the Holy Spirit. My God. And I hear the Lord said it's time for you to change the way you eat. I don't know about how you eat. But the Lord is telling me that I should tell you to change the way you eat. Mighty God. I hear the Lord said you should change the way you eat. Now I don't know about your diet. But be obedient. While, while I'm ministering to you, I, I, the Lord took me to a place in Jamaica where there is a river. Oh, what is this Holy Spirit? The Lord took me to a place where there is a river. And I see you as a child. <laughs> oh, Holy Spirit. You know what? I pray that God speak to you directly. Some things are happening in the realms of this spirit right now. And I'm praying for you. To have this moment with God. The Lord took me to a, down by a river. I don't know about that river. 
I only been to maybe one river when I was in Jamaica when I was a child in Clarendon where I spent summer time. But the Lord and that's not the river. The Lord take me to a river. And I'm standing there by the river and I see you as a child sitting down. But I came to let you know whatever the whatever happened to you as a child. I pray for the Lord to put things in order. I pray for the Lord to put things in order. You need to fast and pray. You need to bakuribi de kasataya. You need to fast and pray. You need to get into serious. You said I left Jamaica from I was a child. Yes, I see you as a young child sitting at a river. No, I don't know anything about about where you're from. If there is a river close to where you're from or where your parents are from. I'm going to use the word parents. I know your father is not alive. So I'm just going to use the word parents. But I see the little girl, that little dark skinned girl with a lot of hair by the river. And I asked the Lord who it is. He said, that's her. A little girl. I didn't say a grown girl or a big girl. A little girl by the river. May the Lord guide you. There was some, I'm, I'm trying to find the right words. There was a conspiracy between your parents about you. When you were young, there was some argument with your parents about you when you were a little bit. They didn't, they didn't agree on some things, but you were young, a young girl, young child, young, you were like, yeah, a minor, not a minor, like a toddler, little, mm -hmm. thank you, Holy Spirit. But what the Lord is showing me, you were young, you said, yes, you had a lot of hair. Okay, thank you, Holy Spirit. So I, it's you. It's not your sister. It's you. The Lord said it's you. But the little girl had a lot of hair. Sitting. Mighty God. I feel the presence of God. But I pray right now. That whatever they did to you. Whatever they did to you. Whatever they did to you. As an innocent one. May the Lord reveal it. Before somebody else die. Ah. Jesus, thank you, Holy Spirit, mighty God. I hear somebody said, you're too nosy, you're too fast. The angel of the Lord is speaking to me, but the devil is saying that I'm too fast. I shouldn't say this, but you need to know this. You've been wondering what happened, but the thing happened when you were a child, and it's between your parents. It's not from afar, it's there were some rivalry with the parents about you but i pray that god visit you again in a dream and show you what you need to know amen yes about my mom leaving for america okay so you're confirming it the spirit of the lord is ministering to me about you but so your, your your problems whatever problems that you have as a grown woman it started when you were young back home it started as a child so let me not go there god is about to show you some things and you're going to be so mad i'm not going to go any further with this I, I just told you what the Lord showed me. There were contention between your parents. And it was about you. I saw you by the river. Whatever they did. It was to control your mind. But look. We serve a God. Of all things. And he revealed to redeem. Amen. You have a mind of your own. 
go to the Lord in prayer and say, Lord, whatever Pastor Joycelyn Rattigan didn't tell me, Lord, reveal it to me in the name of Jesus Christ. I can't tell you anything more. I can't go any further. No. It is well. And this troubled you. And it's still troubling you. It troubled relationship with friends. It troubled relationship with men. It affects you until this day. Hallelujah. Jesus. <laughs> the devil is wicked. The devil is wicked. I'm not going to say one other word. I'm just going to leave it right there. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm just going to leave it right there. This is deep. And it's also deep water. But I pray that the Lord do it for you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. People of God, the Holy Spirit said, this year is a different year. I know many of you have your job, but the, do, toward the end of February, I didn't set an exact date, but toward the end of February, I will be in Florida. I will be in Fort Lauderdale area, Sawgrass to be exact, Florida. And I'm encouraging for those of you who can come to come so we can come in agreement. I'm inviting you to come. We're going to have a conference in Florida, three nights. three nights I'm inviting you to come hallelujah you see what the Lord just did is confirm some things to this young woman by showing me who she what she looked like as a young child she had a lot of hair so this is only God that could tell me this because she knows it's true. She knows that everything that the Lord is using me to say to her, it's true. She's confirming it. But when it gets to the hair, this is what proved to her that this is her message. It's not a confused. You know, sometimes we have siblings and it looks like it could be her little sister or the bigger sister. No. God said it's her. So he used the hair to remind her what she looked like as a young girl young little innocent girl so people of god listen i encourage you to pray let us pray we are still in the first month of the year whatever our name is written on we declare victory over it anywhere they place our name without our knowledge we said fire to it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we set the fire of God to any place that they bury us that they are trying to hurt us we send the fire of God to devour them hallelujah this is just to increase somebody's faith in God that's all it is that is all it is to increase someone else's faith in God. May the Lord honor your prayer request here today. May those that have been fighting you be put to shame. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May those that have been waiting for your downfall be put to shame. Makataya, is there anything too hard for our God? He will go back to when you were at your youth. The Bible said, remember the days of thy youth. Hallelujah. Jesus. Mighty God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 
Jesus. Glory to God. Mighty Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, it said, Remember. Remember. It says, remember. Don't forget. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth. While the evil day come not. Remember. Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Mantarabaya Kosoto. Hey, remember now thy creator. Sister Jackie, do you have a 12 year old? Sister Jackie, do you have a 12 year old? Please. You do have a 12 year old. I pray for this child right now. What I want you to do, anoint that 12 year old tonight before you go to bed. Please. And, and give, and, and pour a little bit of the anointing oil in water and allow that child to drink it. I'm going to pray against ear infection. Yes, infection in the ear. Lord Jesus. The Spirit of the Lord said I should pray against ear infection. Because it's a different type of ear infection that will cause you, that this child to, 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 to be deaf. She have bad allergies. Lord Jesus. Yeah, the Lord said I should pray against ear infection that will cause deafness. I pray right now in the name of Jesus for this young woman. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I come against every sickness, every allergies. Holy Spirit. I decree and I declare healing right now. From the crown of her head to the sole of her feet. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. The Lord said the enemy is trying to give the child ear infection that will cause deafness. So we cancel it right now. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The devil is a liar. Somebody go ahead and begin to share this message. God is here. The Spirit of the Lord is here. The Lord said that 12 year old, and this is why he's very specific. <laughs> Lord, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. It is not me, O oh God. It is your spirit that is upon my life. I don't take the credit of what you're doing here, Lord. 
I give you all the honor. I give you all the glory in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Hallelujah. We cannot take God's glory. <laughs> she said, I know the spirit is here. Yeah, the Lord said that there is a 12 year old in your house. But God will do what he says he's going to do. God bless you. The, the scripture said, remember now your creator in the days of your youth. God don't want us to forget. God is so jealous. He find every way to remind us who he is. Hallelujah. But I came to let you know, people of God, the devil is a liar. Don't let him dictate to you. Don't listen to Satan. You will never be defeated. You will be elevated. And if you are sick in your body, declare your healing that I am healed in the name of Jesus. I am strong. He said, let the rich, let the poor say that they are rich. And let the weak say that they are strong. Declare your strength. You are strong. In the name of Jesus. Anything that your name is written on. In the month of January. I prophesy over your life right now. That you will receive it. In the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. Amen. Sister Patricia Smith. <laughs> Sister Patricia Smith. Wagwan. I'm talking to you. Wagwan. The Lord is telling me that you are about to make a decision. And you're looking for a word. <laughs> Sister Patricia Smith, what go on? Something is going on. The Lord said that you are about to make a decision and you're looking for a word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Oh, you're saying yes. Okay. So, God is not giving me the answer to tell you, but what he said I should tell you. Go in your fasting and fast. And he is going to speak to someone in the group that you're a part of, that you guys pray. And he will give, a, he will give someone the answer to tell you. But you got to believe. God said he's not going to give me the answer. He's going to give someone close to you the answer. So you better believe it. You better believe it. Whatever you are battling with, God said it's time to come out of it. Stop fighting battles that's not yours. Stop fighting battles that don't concern you. And be obedient to God. He is going to speak to someone among you guys when you fast again and pray. We're going on fasting coming Tuesday, this coming Tuesday. Amen. And we won't be taking any sugar in our foods. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. May the Lord continue to bless you. People of God, look, I, we're going to start our fasting on Tuesday. Yes. So we're going to do our charity Monday. I don't want the fasting come in entanglement with this charity. 
I want to get this charity out of the way by Monday. So if you're here and you didn't send your donations, please do so so we can get it out of the way. We're going to be fasting and praying. We're going to Florida at the end of February for conference. I'm expecting to meet many of you as much as you can. Come and invite someone. And don't bring no COVID conversation here. A lot of people would have been dead already if it was for COVID. But God is keeping you. Where we will be, we will have enough room to spread out. Yes, and, and obey the COVID protocol. Amen. The fasting will be, God bless you, from the 21st, from the 25th of January to the 31st. Seven days of fasting. Whatever you want to eat, you can have when you break your fast, but just don't add no sugar to your food. Don't add no sugar. Don't use real sugar. We're not taking sugar. Whatever substitute you can find, but don't, don't buy those little packets of stuff that they have that they give you at the restaurant no so i encourage you people of god support the charity so we can get over with it and start focusing on our fasting this fasting is going to be very powerful a few people on this platform the lord is saying they will have death in their family I'm not a bearer of bad news, but I still got to release the word. <laughs> the Lord, the Spirit of the Lord is telling me that there will be a few people on this platform that will have death in their family. Now, I am not, I have never been a bearer of bad news. So we're just going to have to pray against the spirit of death during this fasting. Amen. Somebody said, God is here. <laughs> He's indeed here. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yes, natural from wherever you can get it from. Yes, just eat whatever you can afford to eat. I never apply pressure to anyone concerning food because I don't know about your... Because food is expensive now. Food is very expensive, so... That part where I tell people what to eat, I don't because food is expensive. You go to the grocery stores, everything is not the same anymore. And sometimes you don't even want to eat the same thing all the time. Because I personally don't. I'd rather not eat than eat the same thing every day. I don't like that. Hallelujah. So... I pray that the Lord bless you all during this time. And for those of you, Sister Denise, Lindsay, I would love if you could come with us to Florida with that fire. <laughs> Hallelujah. We need some fireball to drop in Florida when we go down there. I'm praying for all the fireballs that are here to come, for God to open doors for them to come so we can send signal, wave signals all over the world. Amen. Hallelujah. So I encourage you to support the ministry with your charity donation so we can take care of it by Monday, latest Monday evening. I wanted to do it before, but I guess this is how it turns out. So I encourage you. Hallelujah. Your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. It is well. We serve a faithful God. We serve a faithful God. Thank you, Jesus.
Hallelujah. If you are not a member of any church and you desire to join us, you can use 860-634-8557 and you send us a message on WhatsApp and we will respond to you. If you are already a member of a church and you want to partner with us, you can message us on WhatsApp at 860-634-8557 and say, Pastor, we want to partner with you or we want to join your ministry. Amen. If the Lord touch your heart to bless the ministry, you can use Zelle, PayPal, or Cash App. Many people have been contemplating. They want to join a ministry where they can pay tithes. You can send us a message and you use Zelle, PayPal, or Cash App. If you don't have any of those, you can reach me on WhatsApp and I'll give you the information necessary. 860 634 8557. Amen. Hallelujah. Once again, this was breakfast with Jesus. And it was good. My time is up. I have to go. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless you all.